or sturgeon. Nice fish for sure. We'll get some fishes and get her back in the water. Okay. All right, we just got passed by this nice, lovely barge here, and then there's that guy, <laughs> and he's looks like he has some action. Very first sturgeon. <laughs> Pulling pretty good. Yeah. Well, pretty good. <laughs> we're in the nice Pacific Northwest where everything is crazy, but it's not as bad as you think. But it is bad. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> so yeah, we're just bottom fishing for uh, sturgeon. We're the only ones out here because salmon season's in season, and no one wants to fight a sturgeon because you can't keep them. But it's fun. Yeah. Might be on the anchor rope. Yeah, he is. He's on the anchor rope? Yeah, I can feel him. Well, if you can go underneath, try not to drop your phone. All right, we're back in business here. I had a little, you know, yeah. anchor rope and all that good stuff, but. <laughs> He's a Abu Garcia ambassador reel, too. Yeah. Big fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you want to have a big one. Yeah, I want to have a <laughs> quality, not let me uh let me get the other rod in somehow i guess i'm back in business <laughs> so i had an opportunity to go to top golf or to sturgeon fish with andreas i think you guys all know what i would prefer to be doing right now <laughs> so I, i'm not really doing it i'm just kind of hanging out for the ride right now yeah it's a little bit of light rod and a little bit of light reel that we did this time usually we fish a lot heavier because you want to get these fish up and out these fish are anywhere between well five to 60 70 years old and don't give them don't give them any slack there <laughs> you don't want to ever get that rod uh have no tension on it just just really like crazy because they have we have to fish them barbless so can just keep fishing and fishing and let him go a lot of times okay a lot of times these fish have it really just at the mouth the lips the front lip and all the stuff there's not much just just don't let it go like i said you don't want to have your 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 rod there it is, there it is yep. that'll be a nice one i think yep. i got that probably about four foot yeah so it'll be my pb because i never call them <laughs> and they're smart okay there's the fish so i'm gonna well there it is probably what four footer you think probably not four foot yeah you can see see i didn't even have to, have to do anything it just, yeah just came, came out, out yeah being barbless so yeah go and pull, pull them up there well about four foot how much you think he weighs i don't know <laughs> nice you want to be gentle with uh, those things then. i don't know 15, 20 years old. Yeah. So this is the mouth that, that they have, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they just vacuum. That's crazy. So if you want to. There we go. My very first sturgeon. Nice fish for sure. We'll get some fishes and get her back in the water. Okay. Okay. Good to go, yeah. All right, we're going to get this big fish back in the water. So just keep, put them in, hold them on the tail, and just move them around until. He will, he will, he will start taking off. So we got this one pretty quick up and out. So you just want to move them around. The water is cold, about 50, 55 degrees. Just, just like, just like tarpon, give them a little long to two, uh, you know, long ways shakes. So the, the water goes into its gills. He will take off suddenly. Yep, there she goes. We went. <laughs> cool. Nice. Thank you. Cut herring? What's what's it's cut herring, so we actually we, we it's just slabs of herring. It's actually not the whole fish. Oh really? Yeah. Well what we do is we cut it in an angle here, 45 degrees, and then what it what 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 it does is the way we rig it up, this herring spin like this. Oh okay. And you wanna have there's a different spin for Chinook versus coals. Huh. Coals they like it to have it they, they have a bigger bigger roll where Chinook they really like to have just a really small one. So who knows. Put some Chinese food on there. <laughs> Our cut 
Kung Pao shrimp. Oh, Pao shrimp, right? <laughs> Extra spicy. <laughs> With the eggs, the eggs yeah. they, they taste and smell better. Is that caviar? Mm -hmm. Got a change. A different smell here. Mm -hmm. Pink's my thing, yeah, that's my thing on social media is pink. Uh, so what you got there, what's that, it's pink? Pink hammer, or oh, sturgeon hammer. There you go. I just put a little bit into the, the gills. Your point? Yeah. That's where they eat anyway, so. We'll put a little bit on. Yeah, oh, you know, oh, you know what? <laughs> I didn't have the camera going. Oh, no. I just thought it was, it's going now. Now we're recording. Now we're recording, yeah. We're commentating this entire time, yeah. but we're not recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let us switch to the camera and yeah. it all goes sideways. This is a totally unplanned trip. Like, this was a, literally a half a day plan. Andreas was nice enough to bring me out here instead of going golfing with the guys. What do you mean, half a day? Three hours? <laughs> yeah, three hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got out there by five. No, I was saying it was like a half day plan. Like, Dude, we have a problem. Uh huh. <laughs> Look at this rod here. Uh, it's going. We'll let that one go. <laughs> See, I might have to take that rod. <laughs> oh yeah, look, it's going. It's going, guys. I need to turn off here. <laughs> Shit, that tug's coming by so again. Well, I have a problem <laughs> because the really fish is on there. <laughs> yeah. So Andreas has got that one. I just reeled in, and then I'm hooked up on a double here, guys. This is absolutely crazy. Is that the camera there? Yes, right here. Oh, we got it. It's still recording. Still recording? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the heavy rod now. Huh? Yeah. Handler! This is the heavy duty rod here, so. Might be just smaller fish. Yeah, it's a small fish too there, but. Alright. So, we'll see how the hook is? It's right there at the mouth. And all we do is. Basically, say goodbye. Go. There you go. Nice. Okay, so like I was saying, this was a completely unplanned trip. Andreas and I were talking earlier this week. I'm up in Oregon for some training, and he's like, "Hey, Jay, you want to go fishing?" And I'm like, "Heck yeah, I want to go fishing." So literally, I, ask? I think you asked. I, I maybe I asked. <laughs> maybe I asked. But uh, he, this guy right here, is an absolute hammer. This guy catches fish anywhere, anytime, any place. You name it. So yeah, very fortunate, very blessed to be able to come out here with Andreas this afternoon. Only been fishing a couple hours. We've got three so far. We doubled up there. Sorry, it's a little chaotic. Guys, I don't have any of my equipment. I don't have my chest harness. I don't have my mics. I don't have anything. Probably stupid of me to think that I wasn't going to go fishing when I came up here, but I didn't really plan on it. So we're having an absolute blast up here catching sturgeon. This is freaking awesome, guys. So stay tuned for some more great content. Yep, you're good. Yep, I'm good. I'm blind. <laughs> Number four. Uh, evening bike. Yeah, right. <laughs> Doesn't feel as big, but these fish are awesome. Woo, forearms burning. <laughs> like it. Used to catching bass. Come on, Bessie. What, they're 60 feet now? Mm -hmm. 60 feet. Yeah. Yeah, on there. Yeah, there, there we go. Seen him bubble. There you go. Not a bad one. Like a real quick. Good one. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the water is still. Oh, he's. Just wondering why he is. Yeah. There he goes. Down he goes. Nice. Uh, I hope so. I think it's on. All right, number five on the anchovy. Right? No, that's a herring, though. Herring. Is it a herring? We use a herring. Yeah, we ran out of herring. anchovies, remember? Yeah, we don't use anchovies, only herring. <laughs> herring and sand shrimp. Beautiful Make sure day, number five. It's a smaller fish, it's huh? It's a little smaller fish. Come on, Missy. Eh?
Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That looks you right can, far to the left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can, you can just grab it. Just grab them at that mouth and... You can, you can grab them right at the lip. Yeah. Yeah. See, that, that, that's all it was. There we go. Pretty cool fish, man. Yeah. I'll get some pictures and get her back in the water. Call them shakers. Yeah. Ready? All right, number seven, <laughs> we think. Didn't know how big it was. Still don't know how big he is. He might be bigger than we think he is. Get some good head shakes. On a heavy rod this time. It might be a smaller one. Yeah. Bigger than the last one. You want to you want to take that one up? But they said they took Tesla off that thing because obviously no Elon Musk. Number eight. <laughs> Last one for the night. Yeah, don't fall over there. Yeah. At least you have a life vest on, yeah, so I'm it's good, you know. Yeah. Safety is important, guys. Safety first. <laughs> Covid-free zone. On the small rod. This thing's freaking. It's got shoulders. Those pants fit you pretty good too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He was going to come out in the speedos and I told him not to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No banana hammocks. And <laughs> hey, that's what the Europeans guys do, you yeah. know? I asked my buddy last week when I went down to Tennessee if I could bring my speedos. He said, nope. No. He said, you're not going to be my friend anymore. <laughs> well, what kind of friend is that? <laughs> hey. What happened to it? You give me a lot of slack there, buddy. <laughs> He's just coming up. You might jump. No, it's a small, it's a smaller one there. Maybe he had it too. A nice little guy. Good fight. I don't know. Hold on. 